Hello everyone! In this video I will use three different methods to germinate chili pepper seeds. I will use the traditional method of planting the seeds in soil, then a different method using wet paper towels in a baggie, and then finally using rock wool, which is how I germinate seeds for my hydroponic plants. I have three hot peppers that I got from the supermarket. This red one, it didn't have a name, so we will call it the anonymous red chili. And then I have these two green ones, another anonymous chili and the other a jalapeno pepper, both green. Does that matter? We shall see. So I have two questions I'd like to answer. One, do you think the seeds from these supermarket hot peppers will germinate? And two, which germination method works best? The paper towel method, rock wool, or good old-fashioned soil? So to start, I opened each of the peppers to get out the seeds, the red pepper, and then the jalapeno, and then the green pepper. They each had plenty of seeds to work with. Here you can see the hot peppers lined up, ready for me to plant the seeds three different ways. I made sure to label the plates and everything else so I wouldn't mix up the seeds. They look similar to each other. Now I'm going to plant the three different peppers three different ways. One is in soil. The second method is using rock wool. I mark the rock wool with a J for jalapeno peppers, with an R for the red peppers, and a G for the green peppers. And the third method I will use to germinate the seeds is called the paper towel and baggie method. I have three labels here for the plastic baggies and three labels here for the soil containers. Let's start first with the paper towel method. To use the paper towel method, you first saturate the paper towel in water, place the seeds on the paper towel, fold it up, and then place it in a baggie. Some people use a Ziploc baggie. I find a regular baggie works just as well. Here you can see me placing the jalapeno peppers on the wet paper towel, making sure the seeds are spaced apart so they don't grow into each other. And then once I've placed the seeds the way I like them, I fold up the wet towel into a nice neat packet and then place it into the baggie labeled jalapeno. Then I repeat the process for the anonymous red chili pepper and then the same process for the anonymous green chili pepper. And here you have the three peppers set up using the paper towel method, all nicely labeled. Next, I'm going to plant the seeds into rock wool cubes. Rock wool is used mostly with hydroponic growing techniques as a substrate instead of soil. It is made by spinning molten volcanic rock into fine fibers and then formed into the cubes you see here. Many people consider this to be a natural product since it is simply spun stone. However, it is not recyclable and it does have small fibers, so be warned that breathing this in might not be good for you, although once it is saturated with water, it doesn't seem to give off the dust and fibers that it does when it is dry. Okay, so these are saturated in water and marked with J for jalapeno, R for the red pepper, and G for the green pepper. The Rockwell cubes come with a hole in the middle to drop the seeds into, and so I did three cubes with jalapeno seeds, three cubes with red pepper seeds, and three cubes with green pepper seeds. And now I'm going to plant the seeds in soil. I watered the soil already, and I have these labeled so I remember which is which. I'm going to plant four or five seeds of each type in the containers. First the jalapeno, then the red peppers, and then the green chili peppers. Once the seeds are safe in their new home, I give them a spray of water just for good measure. Remember, I had already watered the soil before I planted the seeds. All right, here we are 10 days later and ready for the big reveal. Which seeds germinated and which did not? Here we have three peppers in the paper towel baggie method. And here we have the seeds in the rock wool. And here are the peppers in the containers of soil. Let's take a closer look at each. I don't see anything growing in the soil containers. 
Well, nothing obviously growing, although of course the seeds could be growing below the soil and I just can't see that yet. Okay, let's take a look at the Rockwell cubes. You can see the middle column has some seeds sprouting. Those have an R on them. So those are the red anonymous chili peppers. The green anonymous chili peppers, nothing. The red chili peppers each have some growth showing. And then these are the jalapeno peppers and nothing. Now let's take a look at the seeds in the paper towels. Let's first look at the green chili pepper. Ooh, that does not look so good. I don't like the look of that black spot. Let's open it up. And there is nothing growing there. Back in the bag they go. Now let's look at the baggie with the anonymous red chili pepper. Ah, that's more like it. Here you can see some of the seeds have germinated. Actually, I think all of them have some growth. Now you realize that this growth could be under the soil in the soil containers, so it's hard to judge which is growing faster. On the paper towels, you can see the growth. In the soil, you can't see the growth below the soil level. I'm going to fold these up and give them some more time, but you could also drop these in some growing medium at this point as well. I'm just not ready yet, so I fold them up and back in the baggie they go. And now let's take a look at the jalapeno peppers. Oh, these also have a black spot like the green chili peppers, and I don't like what I'm seeing here. These don't look like they're alive, but I'll leave them alone for a little longer. So back in the baggie they go. Here we are two weeks after I planted these seeds three different ways and I think they have had enough time to do something by now, so let's have a look. Here we have the red chili pepper seeds, and there are little seedlings emerging. Now let's have a look at the jalapeno, nothing, and the green chili pepper, also nothing. So, for the soil method, just the red chili peppers seem to be coming up. Red, yes, green, no. Now let's have a look at the seeds planted in the rock wool. It looks like two out of the three red chili peppers are coming up as well. Let's see how it compares with the ones in soil. And they look about the same. Maybe the ones in the rock wool are a bit taller. The other rock wool cubes containing the green chili pepper seeds and the jalapeno seeds, they are not germinating. And now let's have a look at the paper towels in the baggies. And I have a feeling that I will only find growth on the red chili pepper seeds. So let's have a look at that first. And as I expected, these also have sprouted just like the ones in soil and rock wool. I don't see an advantage to these over the ones grown in soil. They don't look bigger and now they'll need to be transplanted. The ones that are in soil and the ones that are in rock wool are already in some sort of housing. These on the paper towels will need to be transplanted someplace. They can't stay growing on the paper towels forever. Let's take a look at the green chili seeds. I don't have much hope, but I have to look. And no, nothing happening there. And let's look at the jalapeno seeds. And no, nothing there either. So, what did I learn from this? Well, first, the red chili peppers from the supermarket have seeds that can be germinated, while the green peppers did not. Green peppers are usually not fully ripe, so their seeds were not viable yet. The second thing I learned was the paper towel and baggie method did not seem to make a difference for any of the seeds I grew here. In fact, I think the ones in soil and in rock wool are better off. What do you think? Is there a benefit for some types of seeds to be grown using the paper towel and bagging method? Maybe I'll explore that in the future. I will try some other seeds to see, but pepper seeds take so long to germinate, I thought maybe the paper towel method would speed up the process, and it did not. 
Meanwhile, I have lots of red chili pepper seedlings growing and look forward to making some real nice hot sauce with them. And in order to grow jalapeno peppers, I had to buy a seed packet and they are growing. If you have any comments or suggestions, I would appreciate hearing from you. I hope you're all well and thank you for watching. Bye!